Hello friends, this video on hydrocarbons part 1 is brought to you by examfear.com. No more fear from exam. The objective of this lesson is to name the hydrocarbons according to the IUPAC nomenclature, to write the structures of isomers of alkenes, alkenes, alkynes and aromatic hydrocarbon. We learn about the preparation of various hydrocarbons. We try to distinguish between alkenes, alkenes, alkynes, and aromatic hydrocarbons based on their physical and chemical properties. We also understand the chemical reactions of alkene, alkene, alkynes, and aromatic hydrocarbons. So these are the main ones we have. So we'll understand the chemical reactions of alkenes, alkenes, alkynes, and aromatic hydrocarbons. We'll understand or appreciate the role of hydrocarbons as a source of energy. We'll comprehend the structure of benzene. Benzene understands the uh, uh, term ar aromaticity and will understand the mechanism of electrophilic substitution reaction of benzene. Will predict the directive influence of the substituents and will learn about carcinogenicity and toxicity. Let's start with the term hydrocarbon. The chapter is all about hydrocarbon. So, what are hydrocarbons? So as the name suggests hydrocarbon, hydro plus carbon, right? So hydro is hydrogen, carbon is carbon. So compounds of carbon that has hydrogen only, they are called hydrocarbons. Right. Next question is why should we study hydrocarbon, right? The definition of hydrocarbon is good, but the question is why should we study hydrocarbon? So you see hydrocarbon has a lot of application in our day to day life. The diesel, the petrol, the kerosene, whatever fuel we use, right? That is all hydrocarbon. The medicines we use, most of them are hydrocarbons. The dye that is used to color textiles, all hydrocarbon. The LPG cylinder which we use in our home is all hydrocarbon. In fact, the kerosene lamp, the, the kerosene fuel here is hydrocarbon. The bottles we use, most of the plastic items we see around, the toys, the bottles, the plastic bags, everything is hydrocarbon. The paints that we use to paint our house is also hydrocarbon. CNG gas which is used to run auto rickshaws that is also hydrocarbon. So let's start to classify hydrocarbons now. The hydrocarbons are classified into two types based on the carbon-carbon bond. One is the aliphatic hydrocarbon or and the second is the cyclic hydrocarbon. So aliphatic hydrocarbons will have straight chain. They won't be having cycles. Right? They won't be having a circular the ring kind of structure and aliphatic hydrocarbons we have alkanes there is no double bond all single bonds between carbon carbon and then we have alkene where they have one double bond between carbon carbon and then we have alkyne where you have one triple bond between carbon carbon so if you see the example of alkene the we have ethane you have methane also there are examples of alkene alkane for alkene, we have ethene, we have propene, butene, these are examples of alkene. And for alkyne, we have ethyne, propyne, butene. We have studied these in the previous classes. We'll study in more detail about alkene, alkene, and alkyne. To talk about cyclic bonds, we have alicyclic and we have aromatic. So, aromatic is one which has uh, aroma and which has uh, uh, what do you call 4n plus 2 pi electrons and they have. Uh, uh, more stability, right? They have more resonance, and then we have alicyclic. We'll be further classify alicyclic compound actually here. So these alicyclics, they have closed rings, but their behavior is all similar to aliphatic. Their properties are all similar to aliphatic compounds. Right? Aliphatic are the one they have open chain hydrocarbons. They don't have rings. If you see here, there is no ring. So these guys have ring, but their property, physical chemical properties, resembles. With those of aliphatic and then we have aromatic they have different properties so let's further classify my aliphatic uh, sorry alicyclic compound so alicyclic compound if you see you can classify as cycloalkanes cycloalkenes and cycloalkynes so alkanes alkenes and alkynes so we'll see my examples of each cycloalkanes there is no double bond all it's all saturated these are saturated for example, we have cyclopentane, then we have cycloalkene where you have 
one double bond there is cyclopentene in one example and we have cycloalkyne and in that you have a cyclopentyne as an example here you have a triple bond right similar to alkene alkene alkyne here you have cycloalkene cycloalkene cycloalkyne correct now i have told about saturated and unsaturated hydrocarbon this we have discussed in the last previous chapter video also saturated means you have all single bond for example this guy is all saturated right there is no double bond all single bond or single or you can say single bonds correct and these two are my unsaturated because they have double bonds double or triple bond so we see ethane all single bonds saturated you see ethene there is a double bond it's unsaturated there is ethyne you see it's a triple bond and it's unsaturated thank you visit examfear.com to watch free educational videos try free online tests get the best quality study materials study from the best tutors and mentors and much more thanks once again